Good morning, friends. Welcome to Take Two for this Friday, the 9th of August, 2019. I'm Jeannie. I'm so glad you decided to come along for the ride today. Well, it is the end of the week. We've got a big weekend ahead of us. A lot of heat here in southeast Alabama, so make sure you stay cool and stay hydrated, okay? Well, as I said, it is Friday, and that means, once again, ta-da, ta-da, it's time for my unsung hero of the week. Now, the unsung hero I have for you this week is quite an unusual one. If you watch me on a regular basis, you know that I like to feature different friends and different uh, lower profile people or sometimes high profile people that don't get the kudos they deserve. But today I have an extraordinary unsung hero for you. Uh, if you've ever heard the saying, uh, this person is a friend, or this one is a friend who sticks closer than a brother or sister, uh, that would definitely uh, fit the bill for this unsung hero. This unsung hero is loyal, committed, comforting, loving, unselfish, protective, and even a good source of therapy. Yes, my unsung hero this week, boys and girls, is Dusty Klinger. Now, this is one extraordinary, wonderful, and remarkable dog. This is a dog who has given years and years and years of love, protection, and all kinds of comfort and therapy to many, many people. When my mother passed away, I was in Pennsylvania. I had spent the whole day with her in New York, and then we went back to my sister's house near Philadelphia, and, uh, and we got the news shortly after midnight that my mother had passed. And I was sitting in the living room sofa, and I was quite distraught at the news, of course. It had just happened. And Dusty came to me. This is my sister's dog, Dusty Klinger. Dusty came to me, snuggled under my arm, and kind of buried his nose there, and was looking up at me with those beautiful, beautiful eyes, and saying, Aunt Jeannie, it's okay, I'll give you comfort. I'll be there as your source of comfort. And you know, when my mother was staying in one of her uh, times of being ill and living with my sister for a few months at a time, and she was staying there at the house, Dusty was her constant companion. He was always there for her. She was spoiling him a little bit, but he was always there for her. Well, do you remember the other day when I talked yesterday, I talked about it being my birthday, which, by the way, thank you, everyone who sent me such beautiful greetings. But I talked about how you could be happy and sad at the same time. Well, on Wednesday, Dusty crossed over the Rainbow Bridge. Dusty went, he's gone from our sight now, but he will always be in our hearts. That was the devastating news that we got. 16-year-old Dusty lived a good, full life, 95 in human years, the veterinarian said. It was a, a large, very rapidly growing tumor that suddenly just came upon him that finally caused his demise. But he is somebody who will always be precious and always be a hero in my sight. He was always there for us. You know, when my sister... And her husband used to go visit uh, his dad, Mr. Klinger Sr., uh, in, uh, in, in the facility where he was staying towards the end of his life. He, they'd always bring Dusty. And Dusty would come with a leash, and he understood that it wasn't the type of thing where he's going to be running around chasing rabbits or squirrels that day, but rather he was going to be just offering a measure of comfort to Mr. Klinger. And he did that. And that always lifted his spirits, lifted his day. So there's that therapy component to this remarkable little hero. So, Dusty Klinger, my unsung hero. I give you a gold star, at least one, many really, a virtual dozen roses, and I'm going to give you a special award today. Dusty, you get the top dog award because you have always, always been a top dog in our eyes. I hope you're enjoying it on the other side of that rainbow bridge. <laughs> rainbow bridge? Is it real? Is it something that just maybe came in the imagination of a of a, a, a pet lover, an animal lover? Does it really have, do animals go to heaven? That's that age-old debate that goes on. No, probably 
I don't know, we'll never know the answer to that till we get there ourselves. But if they do, I could just picture my mother standing on the side of the gates and welcoming our precious little Dusty in and saying, Dusty, come on, Dusty, I got a piece of bacon for you. <laughs> just an ordinary little dog. He never rescued anyone from a burning building. He never helped the police crack a big crime. All he did was just be a Dusty. So, boys and girls, I'm, in a, I'm going to challenge you today to go be a blessing to somebody. Today, you may end up being the only one who is. And if they need loyalty, they need comforting, they need someone who could be committed to them, someone who wants to just love on them, be unselfish, protect them perhaps, maybe even be a source of therapy, you go. The best advice I could give you is go there and be a Dusty, okay? All right, now, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jeannie Sigler, J-E-A-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on my unsung hero of the week. Dusty, you will forever, ever be in our hearts, and we love you. Now, listen, go have a great weekend, everybody, and I'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.